I've got some bad news. If your noise floor is too high, your voiceover recording quality isn't going to be good enough to compete. A high noise floor means unwanted background noise is sneaking into your recordings. It's distracting listeners. It's making your voice sound less professional, and that's going to lead to losing jobs. So I'm going to walk you through some common reasons why your noise floor might be too high and share some tips on how to fix it. Now, a quick note, last week I posted a video on how to measure your noise floor. If you haven't seen it yet, I've put a link in the description below. Definitely check that out so you can accurately measure your noise floor. When you measure, when you watch that video and you measure, ideally you want to see a reading of minus 50 decibels or lower. The lower it is, the better it is. If you're seeing a higher number, it means noise is creeping into your recordings and we need to track down the source so that we can stop that noise from getting in. Whenever I do a voiceover evaluation for someone and I notice a high noise floor, the first thing that I ask is, what does your studio setup look like? And that's because most of the time, the noise is coming from something in the room itself. So for example, where's your computer? Many computers have cooling fans, and while they may not sound loud to you, your mic is going to pick it up. Uh, you'll hear like a hum or a buzz, especially if your computer is too close to your mic. Uh, even newer computers with SSDs, they are silent. The, the SSD has no moving parts, so it's quiet, uh, but it can still have fans in the computer that kick in from time to time. Like I'm using an iMac, and if I ever do video editing on it, you can hear that fan kick on. It's quiet most of the time, but that fan comes on when I'm doing things like um, video editing or something that takes a lot of processing power. Typically, just recording voiceover in something like Adobe Audition doesn't take that much processing power where your fan's going to come on. Uh, but even the, like I said, even the iMac has a fan in it, which will kick in from time to time. Uh, the computer, it's not always the culprit. You want to look around your studio. Uh, other things that come up are there lights or electronics generating noise within the room. You want to make sure that your mic cable isn't crossing over any electrical cables as that can cause interference. And don't forget about noise coming through vents in the room that can easily slip by unnoticed. Uh, once you've checked inside the room, you want to think about outside sources. Is there a TV blasting in another room? Is there a refrigerator on the other side of the wall? Even outdoor heating or cooling units can create a hum that's going to get picked up in your recordings. So after you identify the potential noise source, then it's time to fix it. So here are some things that you can try. Uh, you can try moving your equipment. If your computer fan is noisy, just move the computer farther away from your mic. Or better yet, if you can keep it out of the recording uh, room entirely, that's going to be your best bet. You can try turning off appliances. Uh, if the TV or other appliances are causing noise, just turn them off during the recording session. Uh, if that's not possible, maybe you can record at a time when there's less background noise or less appliances running. You can also check your lighting. Some lights, especially fluorescent ones or those with like dimmer switches, they can introduce electrical noise into your recordings. So just go around, try turning off lights while you're recording and just see if you notice any difference. A lot of times... That's the whole troubleshooting process that you're going to go through. Just going through turning things off and then seeing if it makes a difference with your noise floor reading. If you've tried all of these fixes and you still have a high noise floor, the problem could be with your equipment. And this is called self noise. It's the noise generated by your microphone or by your audio interface just by having electrical current running through them. Uh, some lower end mics and some budget audio interfaces, uh, a lot of times they will introduce a subtle hum or like a hiss coming through. Uh, if that sounds like what you may have, then you just need to upgrade your gear. That might be the best solution to get a quieter noise floor. And I will say just troubleshooting noise in general, it can be tricky. It can be frustrating. Uh, sometimes finding the source is the hardest part. But uh, what I've laid out here, these are some of the most common issues that I've come across in my experience. All right, if you're looking for more tips on improving your voiceover setup, I've got a free guide that covers the five essential steps to voiceover success. Whether you're just starting out or you want to take it up to the next level, this guide will help you get there. You can grab it at voiceacting101.com slash get started. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.